hi Ilya. We're here again at the Game Changer Audio booth and you're going to show us, uh, well, you're gonna, we're going to talk about this, this work in progress here and uh, we're going to demonstrate it with this pedal, right? That's right. So, uh, yeah, hi everyone. So, a little bit of a, a yeah, special behind the scenes for Game Changer Audio. So, um, we spoke for the last two, two, two days, we've, we've been demoing uh, our Plasma Rack and the Plasma Euro Rack, but we forgot to mention our main release for 2019, which is this lovely instrument right here. It is called uh, the Motor Piano, and it is a Game Changer Audio's uh, version of, uh, of, a, of a polyphonic analog synthesizer. So what makes the synthesizer special and uh, what got us excited to build it in the first place is that instead of using uh, VCOs, voltage-controlled oscillators, we're using a very, uh, like, a very unusual component. Uh, we're using uh, DC electromotors as the main oscillators and also as the sound sources of the instrument. So when you think about it, that's exactly what a motor is anyway. It is a voltage-controlled oscillator. And we just wanted to see how far we can go with this concept. So this is a very ambitious project, and this piano is not completely ready still. So we're kind of work, we're doing some, some, some work here at NAM as well, just to show people like what is it, like what is behind, that there's, there's real people behind the, these instruments. But what I can do for now, I can do you a, a little demo on a, on a mini three voice module that we've developed as well. So here it is, uh, these, these discs right here. Uh, so have you got you've got one over there, like just out of the skin? Can we have a look? Sure. At that? sure. So th this is uh, one of the motor blocks. So as you can see, this has six motors. The finished piano will have uh, 36 electro motors, which means there is three motors per key in different octaves, and times 12 to achieve 12 voice analog polyphony. That's just insane. Uh, these are motors. And these are basically guitar pickups installed to the motors, like on the motors. And these are optical discs. These optical discs provide us with uh, standard wave shapes like sine, square, saw, and pretty much, well, we'll see what else, what else is there. So uh, bear in mind, this is a very rough demo and an unfinished product, but still we can get the basic idea. So I'm going to start with the optical signal. This is a low C, and as you can see, there's a motor engaged. Right now, the motor is set up to take to, to kind of uh, to play back the optical signal generated from the wheel. Now I'm going to blend in the optical uh, the, in the motor signal. Is that just because the motors need like that tiny bit of time to kind of change the, the yeah, rate at which they're turning? Exactly, around? yeah. So um, so that is that is one of the reasons why we have such a wide range of motors here. So so this uh, the like th this one only has three motors, so they have to jump around between between certain frequencies. So it's playing a, playing a note here.
I don't think that it is possible to achieve completely instant, like no portamento at all. But uh, but I'm fairly positive that uh, we'll be able to reduce it to to such small amounts that it will uh, it will more be like the character of the instrument, not a, an issue. So yeah, this knob is called uh, acceleration, and it it lets you kind of slide into notes in a really cool way. Combine that with a cool, with a with a uh, reverse envelope. So the control panel is fairly, uh, like it's fairly finalized. It's all planned out and ready. So uh, the finished instrument uh, has, like. It can be approached as, as an organ, but it also has most of the most of the functionality of a synth. So you have your envelopes, uh, a filter envelope, amp envelope, two resonant high pass filters with key track, envelope send. You can assign specific envelopes, like which envelope you want to send it to, uh, each of the filters. Then an, uh, a cool thing that we kind of decided to do is that each one of the voices per key has a separate a uh, separate amount of send to an envelope or to a filter envelope or to the modulation block. So uh, as you can see, Walter right here, he, I think he's working on the modulation block. So therefore, we have a blinking light. <laughs> so uh, let's say you want to do like, you want to play with voice one and voice two. You can set up separate acceleration curves for both of the voices like that, for example, here and like that here. This one's going to be a sine wave, this one's going to be a motor sound, inductive sound. And therefore, once I hit this, my sine wave is going to reach that, that's, uh, that pitch instantly, while the, uh, this, the voice number two with the other type of signal will kind of drag behind it. And also I can select how much of each voice will go into modulation, like into the LFO, and I can also select which uh, parameter gets modulated, so that's kind of the idea to uh, to really really explore the the uneven nature of the motor's accelerations and kind of turn that into a into a kind of built-in constantly chorusing phasing effect. <coughs> so, I mean, yeah, I'm actually really excited myself to see where this will take everything. The way we think about this, we want to make the the Hammond. Of uh, like the modern version of a Hammond, like with these synth-like features, but I think that you can turn all the synth features off, like re remove the envelopes, modulation, and this instrument will also be suitable to just sit down and play like a rock organ. And now some special effects. decided that our first release is going to be the full synthesizer because uh, uh, I don't know it's just it is more exciting to us to come out with a finally to come out with a big thing because we've done pedals before and uh, so 
Well, I, we are going to, uh, like, the, the, the current plan is that we're going to crowdfund this instrument somewhere in the spring and then uh, spend the summer and the first few months of, uh, like, September, October in manufacturing. So basically, the idea is that crowdfund the synthesizer and uh, ship it before Christmas. But, I mean, this is literally, like, we've announced this in instrument today, and we're looking at people's feedback so far. People are quite excited by it. So, um, I, I, it's hard for me to predict, like, how it's going to develop precisely, but I'm definitely sure we're making this. Game Changer Audio 2019 Motor Piano, write it down. <laughs>